and welcome to our fall product program training for troops. Jamie? Yes, uh, thank you, Alicia. Uh, once again, welcome to fall products training this evening. Uh, we thank you also for your troop support of our program. Uh, my name is Jeannie Brown and I'm the Director of Product Sales here at the Council. And uh, I'm also joined with Alexis Bracca and Bonnie McCumber. They will be assisting with the question box tonight. Uh, we are your representatives and your Council staff members at the Council. Uh, Alexis works with me at the Hickory office and Bonnie works out of our Colfax Service Center. Um, each of you have a service unit fall products manager assigned to your service unit. If you are not sure who that volunteer is, please reach out to your troop experience manager to get her contact information. Um, we are looking forward to a, uh, an awesome fall product program this year. We have one planned for you and uh, we can't wait to get started. Uh, next slide, Alicia. So tonight, um, sorry, through the materials, and I think that you'll agree that our fall product program is simple, and it's an easy way for your troop to earn startup funds for the new membership year. The online activities are appealing, and they're very fun for girls. Um, on the slide, you'll be able to see what we will be covering tonight. Uh, times are uncertain, but we want you to know that um, our commitment to safety for our families and girls is very important. Uh, most of the fall product program can be done online this year, and with uh, planning, we can keep that social distance from uh, our customers and other volunteers and girls. As far as delivery of the product and picking up your resources, your service unit fall products manager most likely will be making a pickup schedule for you to pick up your items so you can maintain that social distance. Um, we look forward, we'll be planning and monitoring local guidelines, safety guidelines from the CDC and state guidelines throughout the program, and we will keep you updated on anything that you need to know as far as the fall product sale is related. Alicia? Yes, thanks, Jeannie. Okay, so we learned so many things from participating in the fall product program. And like Jeannie said, we're trying to give girls some sense of normalcy and still give your troops the opportunity to participate at whatever level they feel comfortable. So our girls learn the five program skills, goal setting, people skills, money management, business ethics, and decision making. So when you're rolling forward and talking to your troop, the girls in your troop, and um, getting your fall kicked off, certainly pay attention to why we run the fall product program. Think of all the ways in which your troop has utilized the funds that you've earned through cookies or fall product program to make a difference. So if your troop maybe still has cookie money left over and you're not sure that you actually, um, you know, need extra funds, I'm not sure anybody ever has had said they have enough money, but just in case, think about using the money that you earn in the fall for a community service program. There are so many areas that need our help right now due to the pandemic and, and just the situations that everybody's going through. That might be a great opportunity for your troop to give back. So we are excited to have you here tonight and we look forward to kicking off a fantastic fall product program. Um, and to get started, I'd like to introduce you to our mascot for this year. This year, we're gonna talk about the three-toed pygmy sloth. Each year, we like to have sort of a theme animal and provide you with some learning opportunities that you can share with the girls in your troop. So this little guy is found living on a small island off the coast of Panama. It's actually a dwarf species, and it was only recognized in 2001. It weighs about six to eight pounds on average, and the population here is less than 100. So it's a pretty special species of sloth. While they hang out most of the day in the mangrove trees and munch on mangrove leaves, they actually have some cool, um, they actually have some cool features about them. They can actually swim. 
um, which is kind of unique. They're actually faster in the water than they are on land, really crazy. So of course we have lots of wonderful rewards for girls to earn through participating in the fall product program. So here you can see those, they'll be pictured on the back of the order taker, the nut order taker, as well as on the online system as soon as girls launch their campaign. So we'll talk about how girls get started there. Keep in mind that all these rewards are cumulative and you do have a couple of special council level rewards and I'm gonna let Jeannie tell you about one of those. Jeannie? I can remember to click that mute button. One of the rewards that we offer for our fall products program is called Nut Bucks. Nut Bucks work almost identically as cookie dough. They are a credit coupon to earn through participation. And uh, at the end of the fall program for any girls that earn Nut Bucks, each girl will receive um, an individual email that will have her Nut Bucks and the expiration date. But the Nut, works, nut Bucks work just like cookie dough and they can be used for uh, purchases in the council shop uh, council programs, camp fees, summer resident camp fees, and the camp trading post and inner council shops. Fantastic, exciting opportunities there. We also have a very cool um, reward that girls can earn with our personalized patch. So just for sending 15 emails and selling four magazines and 20 nut or chocolate items during the fall product program, girls can earn this patch. So they can choose whether they want the background of the girl in the kayak with her little sloth friend, or they can hang out on the hammock. So very awesome opportunity here for our girls. These patches will be shipped directly to the girl once they're earned. So she'll need to flip a little toggle saying that she's happy with the way her patch is set up because as soon as she hits this earning criteria, this patch will kick into production and be sent directly to her. So be sure to encourage girls to input their address and we'll talk a little bit more about that here in just a second. Your troop has an opportunity to earn some great proceeds. So it's 15% of anything that's sold during the fall product program. And I'll tell you in a little while how the system makes that really easy for you because all of the math is taken care of. So as you accumulate sales within your troop, you'll be able to see in the M2 system exactly what your proceeds and bonuses are. So you've got an extra proceed opportunity here and I'm gonna let Jeannie tell you about the membership renewal bonus. Thanks, Alicia. So for any troops that renewed their memberships early as part of our early bird process, if your troop renewed at least two adults and two girls by July 31st, your troop will receive an extra 20 cents for every item that they sell uh, during the fall product sale. So once again, for any troops who renewed their memberships by July 31st and re-registered at least two girls and two adults, will receive an extra 20 cents for every item that they sell. Now, one thing that you will need to note is that those extra proceeds will not be recorded in the uh, M2 system. However, the amounts that we withdraw or credit to your troop accounts at the end of the sale will be um, offset by these bonus proceeds. So it will either be deducted from what we withdraw or it will be added to your credit. Excellent. Some more wonderful opportunities for your troops uh, and some exciting things to talk about. Okay, so there's two ways to participate in, for girls in the fall product program. So we have in-person opportunities using the nut order card or girls can engage our online system. So I think the online portion is going to come in especially handy this season when we have so many uncertainties out and about and maybe girls don't feel comfortable with the normal level of face-to-face -face that uh, they might have in the past. So I'll talk to you a little bit about ways that we can incorporate that in if you still wanna have uh, some in-person opportunities. So we have our nut order card, which is filled with a selection of delicious nut and candy items. We even have some features of new products for you guys to try. So one that I'll point out for you is the peanut butter trail mix. So this delicious snack mix of pretzels, cashews, peanuts, um, peanut butter buttons, and peanut butter cups is gonna be a great snack. We also have our Girl Scout brownie tin that is gonna be filled with our mint treasures. A lot of my troops actually buy one tin for each girl in their troop, and then they let the girls eat all the goodies out 
out of it and then keep the tin until the end of the year. And then they fill it with badges and patches that the girls have earned during that Girl Scout program year and kind of give that as a nice year end gift. So lots to consider here as far as product selection, lots of price points. And I think there's something for everyone. We also have an option for our care to share donation. So I'm going to let Jenny talk about that again um, with regards to how you can help uh, support some organizations in your community with these care to share donations. So our service project for the fall product program is called Care to Share. Um, through this service project, girls collect a $6 donation to purchase a can of honey roasted peanuts to donate to our local food banks. For the Care to Share items, you'll need to enter the quantity in the Share to Care, Share to Care column on the order card and in the Care to Share column on the M2 system. With our Care to Share program, troops still do earn the 15% in proceeds and the sales do count towards individual girl rewards. The Care to Share items are shipped directly to the council at the end of the sale for distribution. They are not, they are not given out at your candy nut pickup. Once again, they're uh, delivered to the council and then we at the council deliver them to our local food banks. Awesome. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about the online girl experience and how you can get started there. So like we said, you have your order card option so girls can share that with family and friends and have them place orders for products that girls will deliver. We also have our online experiences, which we try to make as close to an in-person opportunity as possible. So girls can get started. Uh, the banner is gonna be on your council website on September 14th. They're gonna look for that banner and click it, or they can go directly to the URL. And we also have an opportunity for you as a troop to send a launch email to the girls and parents in your troop so that they can have an easy way to get started. We'll talk more about that in just a second. So you're gonna to wanna to click the register button to get started and it's very easy from there. It'll take me longer to tell you about how to get started than it will actually take your Girl Scouts to get their campaign set up. You're gonna to need to have a zip code. If you are a bordering area, your troop maybe lives in an area that would be under another council's jurisdiction, just grab the council area zip code from your local council service center and plug that in. Girls should also have their troop number handy, which will make registration easy, because then they'll get to choose their name from a drop down menu. In this system, parents don't need an invitation to get started, but they might get one from you or they might get one from council. And when they click the link to access the system, they're going to get to choose the email address and password um, that they want to use to set up the account. Then we try to bridge the gap between the in-person ask and the virtual ask by giving the girls an opportunity to customize and personalize their site. So it brings them even closer to their family and friends. Here's where they get to join in on the fun. They get to create their virtual likeness. We have so many options that we can create over 3 billion different avatar combinations. I think one of the most popular choices last year was actually the highlights that we added in pink or green for their Girl Scouts, their Girl Scout avatar hair. Girls can also choose from sloth slippers. If you, uh, if the girls are out and about and they're wearing masks this year, your avatar will be able to wear a mask as well. So lots of fun options, including all of the Girl Scout uniforms, as well as a GIRL t-shirt. Girls can upload a voice recording. So when their family and friends receive an email asking for support, they can click the link and the family and friends will hear a recording um, from the girl's avatar. It'll be personally delivered. Girls are also going to further personalize their site if they wish by uploading a photo or a video. So maybe now um, you guys would like to encourage the girls in your troop to actually take the time to record a short one minute video that tells their family and friends what they miss most about Girl Scouting and what they're most looking forward to getting back to doing when things um, when we can all be back together. So totally optional, um, but it might help them gain more support from family and friends. They can also, now that they've got everything set up, share their campaign. 
Our most popular option to share your shopping link for our participants is sending emails. You can also share on social media, of course, following the safety wise guidelines for social media sharing. Um, and then Girl Scouts also have the opportunity to snap a quick picture of their personalized business cards, which they could text to family and friends. So that's a great alternative to the in-person ask with the order card, because it's basically the same thing. It lets your family and friends shop and order items that girls can deliver to them later. The only difference is money is collected at the time that order would be placed online, whereas the order card, you would need to collect that from your customer. So here they can pay online. So again, lots of alternatives and lots of ways to share your fall product program campaign and offer your family and friends an opportunity to shop. Here's what I mentioned earlier about the personalized patch. This is where the girls get to make some choices. It's part of their setup process for their campaign. So they're gonna tell us what background they want, what they want their avatar to be wearing, and also where to ship that personalized patch. Your Girl Scouts have the opportunity to choose first name, initials, or nickname to appear on their patch that will be printed. There's also lots of cool features in the campaign headquarters. So here's where our parents would click to manage their paper orders or enter their order card sales. It's also where you grab those business cards I was just talking about, and it's where our girls can make reward choices. So as girls earn rewards, those will be displayed for them, and then they can make their selection if a choice is required. Lots of our Girl Scouts check back in frequently to visit some of our fun features, such as our avatar's room. They can, their avatar can earn virtual rewards while they're earning rewards in real life. They also will have the opportunity to see all of the other avatars created by the girls in your troop. Now, you as a leader will also have the opportunity to create an avatar. So don't miss out on the opportunity to share your virtual likeness with the girls in your troop, because when they click on the trooper group photo, they will not only see the avatars of the girls in the troop, but yours as well. We do have a fun opportunity for girls to earn two patches that look just like them. So one in the fall, and then by getting started and sending 15 emails in the fall, you're halfway to the cookie crossover patch. This patch is earned. Of course, you have to log into the system in the fall and do those 15 emails. But then when you sell 300 packages of cookies during the 2021 cookie program, you will earn this patch as a participant. So make sure your girls get into the system in the fall because they have to create their avatar to tell us what they look like and launch that fall um, campaign. And then they'll have an opportunity to earn two patches that look just like them. So switching gears to our customer experience, again, our most popular shopping opportunity is through emails. So girls will send the email and you can see here, they'll click, they can click on a link and hear that recorded message that the girls can add to the site, again, that their avatar will deliver. And then they'll be shifted to the online storefront. So we have opportunities for them to renew magazine selections and purchase nut or candy items. So who doesn't like a snack while they're reading their favorite magazine? Lots of options here to choose from. Um, in fact, our magazine renewals and our, we have one Girl Scout Council that's launched so far and our magazine renewals for that account are actually up 80% right now. So I think during these COVID times, people are sort of looking for entertainment and falling back on some of their more um, traditional uh, opportunities for entertainment. When our customers shop on our storefront, they're gonna make a decision. So they're gonna to have to choose whether they wanna save on shipping costs, which means the girls will deliver the products to them via some safe socially distanced method like a porch drop, or they would like to have the convenience of the products being delivered directly to them. A few shipping charges will apply here, but they are real shipping charges. We actually ping um, the, the shipper and get those rolled back so that the customer knows exactly what they would be paying for shipping. So again, this is a customer choice. No matter what the customer is ordering online, they will pay for it online with a credit card. Nothing that is ordered by customers online needs to be re-entered into the system. It all automatically calculates and rolls up. So here, we do need to know anything that you've done in person. So if you're using an order card, these orders need to be entered. We give the parents the first opportunity to do so. They'll be enter, entering quantities sold in total by product variety. The system will add these paper orders together with all the online orders and will provide you with reports to let you know the number of products that you will need to distribute to the girls in your troop um, who participated. So our parents will have the first opportunity to enter and the parents will be locked out as of October 19th. 
then control will flip over to you as the troop and you will either be able to enter for girls who didn't do so or edit or make updates or changes as needed in the system. Very easy. There's no submit button. You simply click update and the order will be saved into the system. So you don't have to submit anything. We've got lots of reports that are broken out by sales categories that parents can view. And you can even utilize the system to send these reports directly to participants if you need to. So definitely lots to learn and we'll talk about your volunteer access in just a few minutes. So a couple of reminders again for you to remind your parents and your girls and your troops. All nut and chocolate orders that are placed online will automatically be added together to those that are entered from order card sales. All online girl delivered items are paid for online, but again, girls will deliver those via porch drops or however they deem safe to get the product to their family and friends. Again, you'll have the opportunity to edit these paper order card sales. The parents will have until the 19th, and then the system will be open for you and you will have until the 21st. At the end, of the initial order taking period, an email will go to all participants with a link embedded in there to remind them to click back into the system to gather those totals that they will need to deliver. As far as the volunteer level experience, you will receive an email to access the M2 system and get things set up. There's not a whole lot for you to do. This email will come to you around September 9th. And one of the first things when you log in, you're gonna be asked to do is set up your own password. Once you get your password set up, you're gonna watch a short training video that walks you through the site, much of what we're covering here tonight, just as a reminder. You'll also be able to create your avatar. And then the one thing we wanna make sure that you focus on is that parent guardian email blast that we talked about previously. This was a new feature we added to the M2 system last year and it was very effective. We've had a 72% open rate for the leaders that actually sent this email out. You can go in ahead when you get your access, you can review the list that'll be populated for you of email addresses of the girls and parents in your troop. If you need to make edits, you can certainly do that. Once you click update, the email will wait in the queue and it will go on go day for girls. So don't panic if the, if the emails, you don't see the email right away. It's waiting until the site is live for girls. But we definitely wanna encourage you to participate because your messaging to your parents in your troop is so meaningful. They listen to you and they like hearing from you. So you sending this email will be a nice endorsement for your troop's participation in the fall product program. From there, there's not much to do except sit back, relax, and watch your sales come in. You've got lots of fun features on your dashboard that you can click through. You can watch, um, you can see sales reports, you can view the banking and payment section. You can also send messages through the system if you wish. So if you need to contact your parents and remind them about product pickup times or they need to get their paper orders entered, either way, um, you will be able to use this as a tool. You can also, again, when it's your turn, enter order card sales for any Girl Scout parent who hasn't done so. Within the system, we, the system works to encourage girls to make reward choices as they're earned for themselves. But if you need to assist a girl in making those reward choices, you can do so. You'll have a reward link on your dashboard and you simply click and you can see any girl who hasn't yet made a choice, she'll be identified on her data row with a triangle with an exclamation point in the middle there. So again, lots of good opportunities um, for you. And you can also see all the rewards that you should distribute at the end of the program through the report system and also on the delivery tickets, which we'll talk about in just a second. I've mentioned the troop banking and payment section several times. Here's where you get a good idea of the overall activity for your troop as far as financials are concerned. You will see gross sales. You'll see the total amount that has been paid online by your customers for all three product channels, Online Girl Delivered, Direct Ship Nuts, as well as magazines and you'll also see the rolling total of your total proceeds or bonuses. On that same line, you'll see the amount due to council. Once council does um, collect those payments, they'll be recorded in the system so that you'll see that your balance due will be then zero. You can also use the system to keep track of girl payments. So any girls that give you money for order card sales, 
those you can record in the system. So it'll be the perfect opportunity for you to go back in and pull year end reports, those year end financial reports that you provide to council. So within the report section, we've designed it to mirror exactly what the parents are seeing. Um, so yours is just one level up. So you'll see all the girls in your troop, but you can click down into the details so far as to even be able to see what the, that Girl Scouts customers have actually ordered. So if you need to assist parents with gathering information from the system, we try to make it very easy for you to do so. You'll notice that you have a few more tabs than the parent view has. So you'll have a special report tab, which is where you find all those cool reports I've been talking about. And you'll also have a summary report tab. So on that tab, you'll be able to get a quick snapshot of all of your troops sales activities. I think this was, we added this last year and I think it became a fast new favorite for all of our volunteers. Once the council's initial order has been submitted, you will be seeing a link for delivery tickets on your dashboard. You won't see it until the council order has been submitted, but once there, you'll be able to pull a delivery ticket for your troop's products. You'll also be able to pull delivery tickets for each girl in your troop. It's, a good, it's got a nice handy space for them to sign off when they receive the products from you. You'll also have delivery tickets as well for rewards. So you'll have lots of reports that you can use to distribute products or products and rewards or these delivery tickets. Remember that we want you to stay safe. So whatever level you're participating in, your safety is our paramount concern. So we wanna make sure that you follow the three W's. Wear a face covering, wait six feet apart, and be sure to wash your hands. For delivery of product and rewards when the time comes, please be sure that at that moment in time, you're following CDC guidelines as well as those of your, your local government, state, county, city, as well as the council. Again, we want to make sure you're safe um, and that you have a good experience in the fall product program. We've got a lot of dates. The, these are in your printed materials, and Jeannie's going to go over those with you in just a couple of seconds. But just to give you a quick overview, our program actually begins for girls on September 14th. So they'll be able to access the M2 system as of 12.01 a.m. Uh, to launch those online campaigns. So the end of our order taking period will be October 19th. So that's the last chance that customers have to place orders that will actually be delivered by girls. We have the, the paper order entry period that we've talked about before, and then we'll leave our online store open just a little bit longer. In case you have girls that come to your troop that get a late start, their family and friends will still be able to support them by purchasing direct ship nuts and magazines. That portion of our program will close out on November 9th, and you can expect product deliveries to occur within your service unit somewhere between November 12th and 14th. Your service unit manager is gonna be in touch with you to let you know when and where to pick up that product. More on that as we progress through the sale. So now I'm going to turn it over to Jeannie, and she's going to talk to you a little bit about some of your resources um, that you'll have on hand for participating. Jeannie? Thank you, Alicia. Next slide, please. So your service unit cookie manager will have the uh, following uh, forms available for you to pick up. Uh, she will most likely be setting a schedule for pickup, so please contact her with more specific, for more specific details. So each troop should receive one receipt book. Um, this is not for customers, this is for you as you distribute the items to your girls, and you should also receive a copy of the uh, troop guide. As far as girls, next slide, Alicia. As far as resources for your girls, you should be receiving one each of these for each girl that is participating in your troop. There should be an M2 flyer that will show the parents and girls how to go online and create their account. There is a paper order card for in-person orders. Even though everything can be done online, we still do provide those orders, those order cards for in-person orders. There's also a money collection envelope, and then you should also get a parent guide for each girl that is participating in your troop. As far as online resources, we do have electronic copies of all of our resources, with the exception of the order card, under the Fall Products tab on our council website. We will not post uh, the copy of the order card because we don't want just anyone to be able to print that out and take uh, fake orders for our candy and nut products. Uh, we do have an electronic copy. If you want, would like one, just send an email to one of the members of our council product sales team and we'll be happy to email that to you directly. But under the fall products tab, you, if you don't have enough paper forms, uh, 
you can uh, send those electronically to your girls and your parents and for them to complete and turn back to you. Also, you'll notice on this page, there is a uh, link down at the bottom, how to add your volunteer role in Salesforce. There's a video tutorial. So within your My Girl Scout account, we ask that uh, you identify yourself as the Truthfall Products Manager. And if you are not sure how to do that, you can click on the link on our council website and it will, uh, it's a short two minute video and it will show you how to do that. Okay, just like troops, girls and service units, we set council goals at the council. So our goal for the fall product is to have a 3% increase in both the number of candy and nut items sold and a 3% show 3% growth in the number of magazine subscriptions sold. We also would like to increase our girl participation and our troop participation. Please check with your service unit fall products manager to see what the goals are for your specific service unit. Uh, along with troop proceeds, we also um, give proceeds to each service unit that has troops participating. For the service unit treasury, we, we give $1 for every girl who sells at least 15 items and an additional 50 cents for each girl who sells at least 30 items. Next slide. Okay, uh, once again, as Alicia said, our candy and nut deliveries are scheduled for November the 12th through the 14th. Check with your service unit fall products manager for your specific delivery date and your pickup time. Uh, when the orders are submitted, we have to send those orders over to our delivery agents. And unfortunately, it could be only a few days before the actual delivery that the vol your volunteer is able to provide that information to you. Also remember that the weather fluctuates very much so here in North Carolina and it could be hot or it could be cold. If it's hot, you know, please protect the chocolate items. They do melt rather quickly. So please do your best to keep them away from heat. Also, if it's a cold morning when you happen to pick up your items, just remember that the heat from your car can also melt the chocolate items and keep your items inside away from uh, any pets or animals outside. We all know that squirrels love nuts and it has happened in the past that some wild animals have gotten into some products that have been signed for by troop volunteers. So please remember to keep them inside and away from any animals that might want to try them. Okay, we do need each of you to complete a troop fall product manager agreement. If you go on our council website, there's an electronic copy of a form. Please download it to your computer and print out a paper copy, sign it, and then return that to your service unit fall products manager. The copies of the troop fall product manager were a little bit more lenient on those. You can sign them and then scan them and then send them electronically back to your service unit fall products manager. We will also accept a, a picture of one. If you sign it, take a picture, you can't scan it, go ahead and just email that to your service unit fall products manager. That form will let your service unit volunteer know that your troop is participating in the sale so that she can follow up you with any information that you might be missing and also, also notify you about any uh, candy nut pickups and what the schedule is and what your pickup time is. Also, if you are new, a new troop, and you did not participate in the cookie sale last year, we also need you to complete an ACH debit authorization form. Once again, that form is posted on the fall products page of our council website. When you uh, get those, uh, return those either to your service unit fall products manager, or you can return the ACH form directly to Bonnie McCumber at our Colfax office. That form is how we know which what your bank account number is so that we can either credit or withdraw the funds that are due to the council at the very end of the fall product program. Uh, please return uh, the troop fall products manager agreement once again to your service unit volunteer and the ACH debit authorization form can either go to your service unit volunteer or it can be returned directly to Bonnie at the Colfax office. Next slide. Okay, so, uh, for the, the amounts that's due to the council, it would be the amount that you collect minus 50%. For payment of the products, we do withdraw the money from directly from your troop bank account. 
Any funds that are due to the council will be withdrawn from your troop account on November the 13th. As a reminder, if you uh, will allow your girls to collect checks from customers, deposit those into your troop bank account several days prior to the withdrawal. For most bank accounts, it takes a few days for those checks to clear. And if you deposit them at the last minute or on the morning of the withdrawal, most likely your withdrawal will bounce or you will have insufficient funds and then your troop will be subject to NSF fees charged by the bank. If you have a lot of online sales or only online sales and the council owes your troop funds, then the ACH credit will be to your troop account on November the 20th. Once again, as a reminder, if, if you get the extra 20 cents for every item that you sell for early membership, then that amount will be deducted or credited from your withdrawal or credit to your troop account on those dates. Next slide. So as we, um, if you're not aware, uh, we do earn, uh, we do award bonus proceeds for troops that have, troops that achieve high sales goals and meet certain criteria for the cookie sale. To get the maximum amount of cookie bonus proceeds, once again, if troops earn those, troops have to participate in the fall product sale. Troops can earn an extra one cents to three cents on top of the cookie extra bonus proceeds that they might earn, but in order to get the full bonus, the troop must participate in the fall product program. Uh, the criteria to earn those extra bonus cookie proceeds is not currently posted on our council website, but we do hope to have the criteria posted to, by the first part of next week. So when you're setting your sales goals for the fall product sale and the cookie sale, remember to refer back to that so it can assist you in setting your goals. Okay, we are, last year we launched Team App for the fall product program and then again for the cookie sale. We encourage troop volunteers and service unit volunteers to download Team App to their mobile device. This is an instant way for us at the council to communicate directly with troop volunteers and get instant notifications. Last year for the cookie sale, we used Team App to notify uh, troops when our cupboards were short varieties. Uh, Team app has already been updated with the fall product program. It's an easy way for you to get quick links to all of our resources. And it's an easy way for us as a council in case we have any delays or changes to our program due to COVID-19 to get the information out directly to troop volunteers. When you go to download the app, if you haven't done so already, you'll need to know our team name and our team name is GSC P2P. So we are also going to be awarding um, avatar patches to any troop that has $750 in total sales. So just like the girls, when you go in and you set up your account on the M2 system, be sure to design your avatar and have her look or him look the way that you want it to look. Because the way that you have it designed or the way the look that you have in the M2 system is the way that it's going to be printed on your patch. Just like the girls, it's important for you to have your complete U.S. Postal mailing address complete on your screen so that when the patches are mailed out, they're mailed out directly to you. If you don't complete your address, your patch will not be sent for production until you, until you complete that section of the M2 system. So, you know, remind, uh, we remind you to watch your emails around September the 9th. When you get the link to create your account, the first thing that you're gonna have to do is watch a short five minute training video before you can go to the next step and create your avatar. We encourage you to send the parent guardian launch email. Unfortunately, when we send the emails out in bulk through the M2 system or through the council, a lot of the emails are blocked in spam. So we encourage you to send an email directly to your parents or guardians with that link so that they can create their account. As a reminder, girls do not have to receive the email to the create their account, but you as the volunteer do. Girls can go directly to our council website on September the 14th, click on the rotating banner. It will take them to, directly to the link to register. You know, once again, we remind you that this is a very easy program. Girls will pick it up. They'll be able to, to create their avatar. They'll send the emails with very little direction. Another reminder is that all 
online sales, the funds are collected online, even for girl delivery. You do not need to record any of the online sales in the M2 system. Everything is already recorded for you. As the troop volunteer, you just need to make sure that the in-person orders from the Candy Net order card are imported or entered correctly and by the deadline. Uh, when the orders come in, even for online girl delivery items, the girls just need to simply deliver the candy and nut items. All magazine subscriptions are done electronically, so there's no need to, to go back to the customer for any of that information. Alicia? Thanks, Jeannie. So at M2, you guys have a great support system at the council, and you can also ask your service unit managers for help, or if you have any questions, they'll be glad to assist you and provide you with more information. At M2, we also have a customer care team that is really ready, willing, and able to help you or your Girl Scout parents um, or your customers. So please be sure to reach out. Don't worry if you don't have time to copy this information down right now. It's available all over our website. So as soon as you get the information to log in, you can do that. And there will be a link on the site for you to reach out uh, and connect to us or call us on our toll free 800 number. So we try to make everything as easy as possible for you to participate and for your girls to participate as well and your customers to support you. So with that, I just want to say thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you for your patience with my technical difficulties. I appreciate you. And you guys are amazing and awesome. And none of this would be possible without you. We appreciate the time that you're giving and your volunteer efforts. And we certainly hope that you have a very successful fall product program. If you have some questions, just put them in the box for us. We'll, we'll hang out here for just a, a few more minutes to make sure we get those questions answered. Um, or you can contact uh, council or your service unit manager later if something bubbles up. So again, thank you so much for your time and for joining us. We all really appreciate you and we couldn't do it without you. So thank you for your continued support of Girl Scouting and Girl Scout programs and our council. You guys have a good night and thank you. Thanks everyone. Have a good evening.